what's up guys so there's a new street part of me that's out that i'm going to review it's uh it's only fair that i review my own part since you know i talk about other people's parts all the time i'm going to just mute the audio because it's kind of obnoxious um anyway let's get to it this first trick i really liked at first glance this doesn't even look like a real spot I really like when people get creative like this. This is a super strong way to start out a part. I really like it. Okay, why a nollipop shove it at the beginning of a line for what? It's not like there's a need to turn your board around and it's such a weak trick. Like, I don't understand when people do this kind of stuff. Like, I guess this curb trick, which I really liked, by the way, but I guess this trick wasn't good enough to be a single. So the solution was to add a couple of basic tricks prior to it. I get that the flow is important, but this was kind of weak. Okay, so I normally like seeing things like this, but uh, I think the slope wasn't steep enough at the top for him to pick up speed, so it felt like we were just waiting for something to happen, and like, there's a drop at the end, but it wasn't big enough to justify the amount of time it took to actually complete the trick. But that's just my opinion. The spot's actually pretty cool. Okay, so we have the thumbnail, teehee, followed by a predictable trick that was nicely executed. Although I have to say that I'm a little disappointed in the filming here. We're so zoomed in that we're just seeing his back foot. What's up with that? Holy, what, that was, wow, that was crazy. Again with the shove it, uh, nice pop out. Ha, gifted ragdoll. So there are a lot of these like quick setup lines and all of them are super cleanly executed, which I can appreciate a lot. Look, I'm bored now. Bye.